Hola! These are words of David Icke. Perceptions on the brain level come from electrical firing and electrical processing of frequency information. That's how thoughts manifest at the brain level. Everything which is going to impact on thought is going to impact on perception, which impacts upon behavior, which impacts on the life experience we all have. Hola, from Colombia. With the present great world confusion, I wish to do my part to accelerate the evolution of human consciousness. Please help by subscribing and sharing these videos. Thank you. This whole conspiracy is a conspiracy of manipulating human perception, so they control human behavior. That is why they are so terrified of mavericks, because they can't manipulate them to respond perceptually in a way they need them to respond. If you focus only on your labels and you self-identify only with your labels, then the world looks a certain way and consequences for action look a certain way. But if you identify with being a point of attention within an infinite state of consciousness, your point of attention could be the size of a pea or infinity itself. I don't see my life as a life. I see it just as a short experience and thus I existed before and I will exist afterwards as consciousness in its different forms. So in that sense I don't see consequences like people in label consciousness see consequences. I look at the situation and I say I'm going to do what I know to be right. I'm going to say what I know to be right. I could have shut my mouth and edited myself and censored myself, but what's the point of that? No point whatsoever. You speak your truth and the consequences take care of themselves and they can have benefits that you never thought possible. When something apparently negative happened, you speak your truth. You live your truth. The consequences take care of themselves because they don't matter to you in the sense that you're an infinite expression of consciousness. What matters is speaking your truth and living your truth because that has a power. It has a frequency that is much more powerful than lies and mendacity, which is the frequency that this cult works on. That's why they're terrified of people who are not intimidated by them. It gives you the tremendous freedom where you are you. You're not censoring you. You're not editing you. You are just being you. You're not allowing external influences to impact upon your speaking and living truth because the biggest prison people live in is this question. What are the consequences for me of doing what I know to be right? And once you ask that question, then the consequences will invariably stop you from doing it. But when you open your heart, you're opening to innate intelligence, expanded consciousness, all these things knowing rather than thinking. And when you do that, there's not a way the heart will say, what are the consequences of doing what I know to be right? It just does it. And what happens, happens. I have this phrase. Know the outcome and you will see the journey. If you don't know where the world is being taken, by who, and the techniques of manipulation that takes us there, then the world is a random place. You look at a newspaper and you look at the news or whatever, lots of random things are happening.
From that perspective of perceptual randomness, you cannot make sense of the world. However, when you know where the world is being taken, and when you know basically who's taking us there, why, and the techniques of manipulation to take us there, suddenly randomness disappears. Because what is random to most people becomes a very clear sequence of events that is taking us in a very obvious direction towards the outcome. One of the expressions and very relevant today of this mind control, what they call trauma-based mind control, is that when someone's traumatized in a state of anxiety, in a state of fear, they become massively suggestible. This is why they use trauma as part of the mind programming. So what they are doing to humanity as a whole is producing reasons to fear, reasons for trauma, reasons for anxiety. And when they've manipulated people into these states, they then put the mind control suggestion in there of that changed perception. People are at the fork in the road where they have to choose. Are they going to go on being controlled sheep and robots of the control system? Or are they going to wake up and take the road to freedom? That's the choice that people are facing now and will face ever more blatantly in the next few years. This is not a world that I want to live in. The question is, do you? We only need a relatively small critical mass of awakened individuals who have made the decision to be in contact and communion with their soul through daily conscious action. Due to my peaceful non-cooperation, I went to prison. I describe my prison experience in my book, True Freedom is Inside of Me. Please visit my bilingual website. The only solution is very simple. I must connect to my true self, my soul. Easy to say, but not so easy to do. Please go into action now and make the choice between listening to your ego mendacious mind and the external authorities or listening to your soul, the internal authority. I consult and offer tools so that you can find your individual solution by making contact with your soul. Your soul will then effectively guide you through the upcoming long-lasting turbulent transition. Infinite love.